adaptation in animals. Make a list of animals in your surroundings. Compare the diversity of animals listed by your friends with your list. Discuss the habitats, food habits, characteristics of body structures like vertebral column, wings, gills, tails, etc. and prepare a chart. What differences do you see between terrestrial and aquatic animals? As compared to terrestrial animals, the skin and body shape of aquatic animals appear to have undergone changes. Fishes have scales on the skin and fins on the body. Their body tapers towards both its ends like a spindle. Fish breathe with gills instead of a nose. Their eyes have transparent eyelids. They have air bladders within the body to help them to float. Observe and discuss. Observe the bodies of the frog, duck and tortoise. 1. Of what use are their legs to these animals? Answer. The legs of frog and duck have webbed toes which are used like oars to swim in water. 2. What helps frogs to breathe underwater? Answer. Respiration through skin helps frogs to breathe underwater. 3. Of what use are the long hind legs of a frog? Answer. The long hind legs of a frog help them to jump high and swim in water. 4. Why doesn't a duck get wet in water? Answer. Duck has waxy feathers due to which it doesn't get wet in water. Adaptation in amphibian animals. As the frog and duck have webbed toes, they can use their legs like oars. Water flows off the waxy feathers of birds like duck and water hen. Webbed toes, slippery smooth skin and a triangular head helps frogs to swim easily through water. They can live on land as well as in water due to their ability to breathe through the skin in water and using the nose and lungs on land. The typical colours on a frog's back help it to hide among grasses. Make a list of the names of some other amphibians you know and study their adaptations. Adaptation in forest and grassland animals Carnivorous animals like the wild dog, fox, tiger, and lion have strong legs to run fast and capture their prey. They have claws and their canine teeth are sharp and pointed. What is the function of such teeth? Such teeth are used to cut flesh of animals. Tigers have padded paws. This enables them to silently stalk their prey and capture it easily. The eyes of predatory carnivores are located in the front of their head. It helps them to spot their prey from a long distance. The eyes of herbivores are below the forehead on either side of the head. This gives them wide-angle vision which helps to protect them from predators. Their legs are long and tapering with strong hooves which enables them to run fast taking long leaps. Their long and freely moving ears can receive sounds from long distances and different directions. Deer and black bucks have colours that merge with their surroundings. Their teeth are strong for chewing tough plant material. Adaptation in Desert Animals Deserts are characterized by severe scarcity of water. Hence, desert animals have a thick skin to prevent loss of water from the body. 
Their legs are long, with flat and cushioned soles. The nostrils are protected by folds of skin. The eyelashes are long and thick. Rats, snakes, spiders, lizards in deserts live in deep burrows during daytime and are active at night. Adaptation in animals of snowy regions. From the internet, download images of animals like yak, polar bear, white fox, silver fox, mountain goat, Siberian husky dog, and snow leopard. Compare these images with those of similar animals from tropical forests. A white or silver body colour, long, thick hair on the skin are typical characteristics of animals of snowy region. How are these useful to them? Body covered with long, thick hair helps snowy animals to protect themselves from severe cold. Adaptation in aerial animals Can you tell? What is the main difference between vehicles on the road and aeroplanes? The vehicles running on road do not have tapering ends, whereas aeroplanes have tapering ends. The spindle-shaped body of birds also minimizes the resistance of air while flying. With hollow bones, a body covering of feathers and modification of four legs into wings, their body is light in weight and adapted for flying. The body of insects also is light in weight and tapers at both ends. They can fly with two pairs of wings and also walk with six stick-like legs. Bats can fly with the help of the patagium, a thin fold of skin between their forelegs and hind legs. Observe the various birds and insects in your area. Adaptation in reptiles. Observe from a distance how snakes and earthworms creep. Which organs do they use for creeping? Are there any special changes for that purpose? Note any such changes. Animals like house lizard, garden lizard, Crocodile use their muscles for creeping. Similarly, they show adaptations in skin, soles of feet, body colour, etc. For example, the house lizard and monitor lizards have clawed toes and thin soles, whereas snakes have a scaly skin. Adaptation for food in animals we can categorize animals as herbivores and carnivores. Special adaptations are seen in each category to make the process of feeding easy. We will discuss this in greater detail in the chapter on nutrition. Watch the programs on channels like National Geographic Wild, Discovery, etc. to learn about the feeding habits of animals like frogs, snakes, birds, mosquitoes, butterflies, etc. Observations Complete the following chart from your own observations. We have adaptations, animals and how these animals use these adaptations. Sharp teeth, lion and tiger, Use these adaptation of sharp teeth to tear the flesh. Long and pointed beak. Heron and crane use them to catch fish from water. Short beak. Parrot and sparrow use the short beak to pick food and build a nest. Frog and chameleon use long and sticky tongue to catch its prey from long distance. And giraffe uses long neck to eat tender leaves of long trees. 
adaptation for blending with the surroundings. We cannot easily spot colorful butterflies, lizards, and grasshoppers. They get camouflaged amidst grasses, parts of plants like stem, leaves, flowers, etc. Camouflaged means to match with amidst means surrounding. This is because their colors blend with those of their surroundings. Changes that take place in the various organs and life processes of organisms that enable them to live, feed, reproduce, to perpetuate themselves and protect themselves from their enemies in specific surroundings, depending upon the habitat and its geographical conditions, are called adaptations. Perpetuate means keep in existence or to preserve themselves. Always remember, adaptation is not a sudden process. It is gradual and continuous. Differences in the structure and appearance of present-day animals and animals of thousands of years ago are the adaptations that occurred according to prevailing conditions. Prevailing means existing at a particular time. It is our duty to conserve this diversity. Darwin's theory of evolution. Great scientists. Charles Darwin, a biologist, studied numerous types of plants and animals and suggested that only those organisms are likely to survive which can best adapt themselves to a changing environment. This is called the theory of survival of the fittest. This is Darwin's first principle. If an organism is born with a new beneficial characteristic and is able to survive, this change is preserved in the next generation. This is Darwin's second principle and is called the theory of natural selection. Classification of living organisms Let's recall. Why are living things classified? Which are the criteria used for classification of plants and animals? It is difficult to study and remember all the organisms in this diverse living world at the same time. Classification helps in this respect. Different scientists have used different criteria and independently classified plants and animals. A hierarchy is formed in the classification that starts with Kingdom Animalia or Kingdom Plantae. Further groups and subgroups are formed depending upon basic similarities and differences. This is called the hierarchy of classification. Let's have a look at this table. The hierarchy is Mango. It belongs to Kingdom Plantae, Phylum, Anthophila, Class, Dicotyledony, Order, Sapindles, Family, Anacardiaceae, Genus, Mangifera, Species, Indica. Next, Hierarchy, Human, Kingdom is Animalia, Phylum, Cordata, Class, Mammalia, Order, Primates, Family, Hominidae, Genus, Homo, Species, Sapiens. Binomial Nomenclature by Carl Linnaeus. Imagine that there are four students with the name Kabir or Kiran in a classroom. If you are talking about any one of them, how would you ensure that others know which one of them you are talking about without any confusion? You would tell the full name, that is, the first name and the last name. This is similar to binomial nomenclature. Binomial nomenclature is used to identify each organism. Accordingly, 
A scientific name has been assigned to each organism. It consists of two parts. The first part is genus and second species. All identified organisms have been assigned a binomial name as per the guidelines of the International Code of Nomenclature. All the organisms of a species are so similar that irrespective of differences in colour, height, habitats and habits, they can reproduce among themselves and form new individuals like themselves. For example, all domestic cats in the world belong to the same species. The same is true in the case of animals like hen, cow, dog, etc. and plants like mango, wheat, maize, etc. Following are some examples of organisms from Kingdom Planty and Animalia classified by the binomial method of nomenclature. Here are some living things and their scientific names. Dog Canis lupus familiaris Cow Bos taurus Hibiscus Hibiscus rosa sinensis Joar Sorghum bicolor Find out the scientific names of other animals and plants in your surroundings and discuss in class. 29th April is observed as World Frog Protection Day. Killing or harming frogs is prohibited by the Wildlife Protection Act. If you want to see all your chapters in this format, then call us in the description of the number. For more educational videos, subscribe to our channel Home Revise.